Hey guys, welcome back to It's a Terrence Kind of Thing. <laughs> oh yes, I'm super excited about this episode of Let's Talk Tennis. <laughs> Y'all, I gotta go back. Literally, I, I said it before, I gotta go back and I gotta count the episodes because I don't even want to tell you like, oh, this is the the 17th or the 20th or I don't know. I don't know. The, I don't know the episode number. Just know that it's Let's Talk Tennis, baby. And we're going to be talking about Venus, Ebony Star Williams, again. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you guys so much for all that you do. Um, yeah, stay tuned, okay? <laughs> it's a Terrence kind of thing. Doesn't matter what you bring. Come and watch him do his thing. Because it's a Terrence kind of thing. You guys, thanks so much for coming back. Thank you for all of y'all's support. Thank you for all of the love. Oh, the comments have just been coming in. And some of them, you know what, not good, but the majority have been amazing. Y'all, I read all comments, the good, the bad, the ugly. Because some of these things also, as a content creator, it does, it, it helps you. You know, it critiques you. Um, some of it is just pure right shade and hate, but who cares? We want to talk about tennis, baby, and let's do that. Venus Ebony Star Williams, you guys, if you guys have been keeping up with Venus, and that if you've been keeping up with my channel, y'all know I'm super, I get super excited about tennis. Y'all, I saw a tennis court, I'm not lying, I saw a tennis court probably like 20 miles from where I'm at right now, and I got out and I served, okay, and it was hot as hell, all right, but I served, that's how much I love tennis, and this is also how much I love Venus. Um, I know some people come in like, oh, so you down, you down Venus, you down Venus. I was like, no, I'm not like doubting her, but she hasn't won much okay, in the last four years, you know, but she was in the Cincinnati, the Cincinnati, um, open. So it's a hardcore tennis, um, uh, tennis tournament. And it leads up to the U S open. So we know that's coming. We're going to talk about that too. So anyway, so she had a first round match against um the 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 young lady is within the top twenty in the in the in the world. Okay, we're talking about the top tw like top twenty uh, within that top twenty in the world. And Venus is at Venus is like over five hundred. <laughs> She's ranked over five hundred in the world right now. You know that's like okay, come on, that's. In professional tennis, it's like, okay, are you serious? You know, it's like you're a nobody, you know. But we know we're not, I'm not calling my girl Venus a nobody. I'm just saying in the tennis world, you're not considered a threat. But she is, okay? So <laughs> she is, she's like one of the oldest and she's pushing it, okay? She's pushing her body. She's pushing the, she's pushing the test of time. Let me say that. And she's, I say that, but she's, I feel like she doubted back on If you guys haven't watched you need to go and watch those um highlights. I don't know where you can actually watch the um, full full match, but Venus Venus outdid herself. I mean, she beat I want to say she was top 14, uh 14 player, um ranked 14th in the in the country. I say country. No, I'm sorry. In the world, okay guys. We're going even bigger in the world, okay? Number 14 in the world. And again, Venus is uh, 500. So she's like, she's not considered a threat at all. And she beats this woman and she proves, okay. She proves to me and everyone else around that she is not ready to retire. I don't care if she, if she never wins another match, she won that, which is so impressive. It's impressive. We can't deny how incredible this really is. Okay. This is remarkable. Um, someone, like I said, with a, with an illness, with so many um, previous injuries, it just shows you how strong and how committed she is. You know, we, we talked about her financial uh, status and the woman is um, the woman is loaded. So she's not doing this for money. She's doing this because she loves it. And that is how I feel about surgery. And that is how I feel about YouTube. I am not making millions of dollars on YouTube. And I'm not making millions of dollars um, in my surgical career. But I love it. It's a true passion of mine. And that's why I keep it. That's why I just, I guess it, it, it looks as if I just can't stop because I enjoy it so much. And so um, thank God for people like Venus, athletes like Venus, 
um, legends like Venus because it motivates me. It keeps it it pushes me to do more and to be better. Um, and I just can't turn away. Even though she lost her second round match um, in that tournament, but it got to three sets though, three sets. So let's just put that out there too. She. She is playing remarkable tennis, and I really do have faith in her that she can go deep, deep within the Grand Slam that's coming on up, which is the um, U.S. Open. Um, she also, um, along with a few other people, she has received a wild card. A wild card is what you are given, um, what players, professional players are given when they haven't won a whole lot and they're, they don't have that many points and the rank is really, really low. They're given wild cards into the Grand Slams. You can't if you're not given a wild card, you um, you have to go to you have to go through so many different matches, and 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 hopefully get enough points to reach those uh, major tournaments, which are Grand Slams. Venus just like she's just been giving it, baby, <laughs> and I love that. I love the fact that the USTA, the USTA. United States Tennis Association has not given up on Venus Ebony Star Williams because I haven't either. I don't think a lot. I think a lot of us um, are just really we love the fact that we get to see such a beauty and such a legend still currently play and compete professionally, not just recreationally or some of the little, you know, community plays or ex exhibition matches. Am, am I speaking right? <laughs> exhibition matches. Exhibi exhibition matches. Um, but she's actually competing. And she is, she's hitting the ball hard. She's hitting the ball hard. Her finesse is remarkable. Her lob, she's coming to the net even more. You know, she's an all-court player. And I'm just excited about, I'm excited about her U.S. Open um, uh, Grand Slam uh, tournament. You know, she has won this, she's won this title twice. Yeah, this is like all about Venus, okay? This is a video all about Venus because the other video, like I said, I I, I am concerned. You know, her not winning and um, just not lasting in these matches. And against people that I feel like the younger Venus would have just pummeled, you know, pulverized. But that's like, that's what that's exactly what she did that day when she played um, in that first round match in Cincinnati, I mean Cincinnati, it, it it was it was absolutely so wonderful to watch, and so I got to watch that match. I was excited about it, and um, you guys, she she looked like at one point, hey, you know, she was gonna lose actual actually both sets, and she came back, um, she came back from behind in both sets. You, y'all, I know a lot of people don't know about tennis. But it's not easy. It's not easy. It's a lot. It's a lot to just have that mental toughness and then also the agility and the mindset, the physicality of the situation. It's tough. It's all, it's just all, oh, it's just, it's all types of emotion and energy that goes into competing. And for her to do this on this level, and honestly, I mean, just, Having been um, knocked out and not played well and coming back and just, uh, oh, she's just giving it her all. Like I said, how can you not respect the fact that she is still currently competing and she's doing it? She's just, she's doing it beautifully. I mean, have you guys seen Venus? Just look at Venus, okay? I'll wait. <laughs> This woman is so beautiful. She's so beautiful. And, and what makes her even more beautiful and more attractive, um, and this is nothing sexually. This is all in a, this is attractiveness and, 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 and beauty in a sense of motivation and inspiration. Okay, I wanna, I wanna make sure I stress that because I'm telling you guys, seeing someone like that compete, it allows for me to understand that you know what, Terrence, you gotta keep moving. You gotta keep moving. And if you and if you if you don't like something, do something about it, you know? And 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 move away from it, you know? Move away from it. And that goes for relationships, that goes for friendship, that goes for whatever in life, you know? And again, seeing Venus play the way that she does and the things that she's gone through. And just this current, you know, win was just, it was a sight to see. 
so exciting. I'm so excited, so excited. I can't stop saying how excited I am about the U.S. Open. I really hope to see her prime time. I love to see her um, play in the night matches. I just think that light with her beautiful skin and just amazing personality just goes hand in hand, you guys. It's exciting. I mean, yeah, call me biased. I love Venus. Y'all know I love the Williams sisters, but I love so many of the, the tennis players that's on the tour, ATP and WTA, and I just love the excitement. I love the excitement. When I see that, it gives me that courage and that excitement within my profession, you know, so... Oh, I'm just so excited. I was so happy to make this video because, like I said, I was a little down and I was I was a little discouraged about Venus. Um, and like I said, I don't care. She doesn't have to win another match for four more years. <laughs> she proved to me that she still has it, that it's not gone, and she can compete on a high, high level. I mean, her return to her forehands, oh my gosh, her, her offense, her defense, Check the ball direction. I mean, it was it was Venus in 1999, if you ask me. <laughs> I mean, and it is 2023. We're almost in 2024. This is this is electric. Okay, this is gonna. She's gonna continue to. She's gonna continue to set records that people probably will never even attempt. I mean, people are like, forget this. Even like by the age of 29 and 30. Really, your tennis career is pretty much over, and Venus is in her 40s. So, congratulations, Venus Ebony Star Williams. Um, right here on this Terrence kind of thing, you have the biggest fan, <laughs> one of the biggest fans. And I'm super, super excited for all of your achievements and your accomplishments. And I just hope and pray that you are able to uh, just have fun in this U.S. Open that's coming up. You deserve that. You deserve that. And I know. Um, I know she will, because if you watch her in her press conferences, um, she is, uh, oh, wow. She's just, she's super excited. She's excited. Win or lose, she's going to be respectful. And I love that. I love that. <laughs> Sorry. Had a phone call. <laughs> anyway, I love that. I love that. I love her excitement. And um, I just appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that she never quits. She never gives up. And for me, uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to follow in that. You know, like I said, I'm a leader. I'm definitely a leader. But if I if I follow anybody, it's definitely it's definitely someone like Venus. So, yeah, this is Let's Talk Tennis, baby. So, yeah, I, guys, again, I want to say <laughs> I want to say thank you all so much. Thank you to all the channel members. Thank you for um, just uh, just all of your support, just being there for me, listening to me go on and on about tennis, you know, you know how much I love tennis. Um, I love tennis. Just like um, Rick One loves his uh, – Rick One loves b-ball. He loves his basketball. Um, I, I love my tennis. I love all sports. I really do have a thing, um, an extra special thing for tennis. You guys know that by now, right? And yeah, like again, again, thank you so much. And, uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing me out. I cannot, I can't get enough of that. I mean, the Venus video, <laughs> that video did really well. And I'm just super excited about it. And, you know, numbers, numbers are important. It's not the, it's not the most important thing, but it is important. Um, and I do appreciate when I see those numbers go up and I see people really engaging and um, interacting with each other and, and myself in the comments it's a it's a sight to see. So thank you guys so much. I'm gonna keep these videos coming. Okay. Um. I I do, I want to give you like a little sneak peek, like just verbally, what I'll be talking about. I'm gonna I'm gonna be talking about Stone um Sloan Stevenson Sloan Sloan Stevens. If I can talk, if I can say her name, we're gonna talk a little bit about um um a, about Novak Djokovic again. <laughs> I know some people saying, get some new tennis players, introduce some other people, and um. I I just I can't you know we can't forget about Ostapenko Ostapenko you know I want to talk about her she is a firecracker on the court I love um I love her her eagerness and her the excitement as well so that's also it's also um, really special to see 
But yeah, there's a lot of great tennis guys coming up. I just can't wait for the U.S. Open. Like I said, guys, I've been there several times and seen a lot of awesome um, stars and athletes, you know, and on and off the court. So it's exciting. So let's see what um let's see what it has in store for this year. Anyway, guys, please, like I said, give me a like, please, 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 thumbs up the video, comment down below. Um, please click the bell for all future notifications of Let's Talk Tennis on It's a Terrace Kind of Thing. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to It's a Terrace Kind of Thing. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs> it's a terrace kind of thing. It doesn't matter what you bring. Come and watch him do his thing. Cause it's a terrace kind of thing.